hold Brought him. to you by Nick. Let's Abbott not, Insurance, the let's all in not one make stop that happen. Insurance yeah. Yeah. BBK Jason, Introducing please. first, fighting out of the blue corner, Sheldon Smith. I've had my fair share Smith. of with Mr. Holden. He's a capital J journalist. And his opponent standing across the cage in the red corner, Duran, I am McCann. Here is Mike England with the fighter instructions. Stay in the ring, stay in the ring, fellas. All right, fellas, give your instructions. You got any questions? Any questions? Talk to right here. God Sheldon Smith versus Duran McCant. Duran McCant, certainly no stranger to the Kansas City Fighting Alliance cage. Another fighter that we have seen climb the ranks here. Oh, he just called off the uh, beginning of the fight because his corner's all wet. Looks like it. they're cleaning it up. Let's go, let's go, and let's try this again. Try it one more time. Take two. McCant unbeaten. He has three submission victories. He's a phenomenal striker and wrestler. As you can see, the strikes on display. Sheldon Smith certainly no slouch, though. He has only one loss in his pro and amateur career combined. Great. Great outside leg kick to head kick. Can't looking to cut an angle. Good outside leg kick from Sheldon Smith. Smith landing some jabs. Obviously been working quite a bit on his kicking game while Smith seems pretty content to stay in that forward line of motion. A little bit more basic, but his, his you know his bread and butter techniques are, are working for him. He's landing against McCann. Yeah, absolutely. Nice knee. Can't cut in some nice angles. I'm waiting for him to fully commit to that takedown. McCann is certainly showcasing some really sophisticated footwork, switching stances, cutting, cutting angles. While Smith is, you know, as I said before, a little bit more bread and butter, but McCann has not been able to land the, the, the head kick that he keeps looking for. But you know, perhaps he will find a home for that at some point tonight. Nice outside leg kick from McCann. Smith returns with a nice leg kick of his own. Good right hand from Smith, followed up with a good right hook from Cant. Good outside leg kick from Smith and a Big good leg kick from Smith. straight left. Can't searching for a single leg and is able to get it, but Smith immediately pops up. That left hand that hit McCant looked like it stunned him a little bit. It sure did, and Smith popped right up out of that takedown attempt. Hey, 
I like how Smith is utilizing that outside leg kick as McCant uses that boxers, you know, that jog, that, mm. that backwards jog that boxers do. He's doing a beautiful job of just, you know, punctuating that with a huge leg kick, and that will definitely slow McCant down and, you know, potentially frustrate some of those shots. McCant working on that single now. He's got that leg trapped. Good defense from Smith. Great takedown by McCant. That, that's a high level takedown right there. McCant's corner calling for him to pull the post, which he's able to do. Uh-oh. Oh, beautiful back take from McCant. That's tight. That is deep, ladies. That's and he deep. has it flattened out. This could be the end of it, ladies and gentlemen. Smith is fighting. Oh, oh wow. Oh, my gosh. Right back to it and survives the round. Credit to Smith, Woo. that rear naked choke was deep. He had him flattened out. I thought that was the beginning of the end there, but Sheldon Smith weathers the storm. Here we go. Right back to it, right back to it. Jerron McCant loves that outside leg kick to jumping head kick combination. He does, that's obviously been something that he's, he's, been, uh, he's been working on in the gym. Nice hip faint from McCant, going low and then going high. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember McCant being such a kicker in past fights. It, it looks Not like that he, he didn't kick at all. Right. But. It looks like he's evolved his kicking game for sure. Nice hook on the break from McCant. Good job of defending a lot of the kicks and strikes of McCann. Ooh, looking good head kick head attempt kick by Smith. Yeah, there. looking to let a head kick of his own. Shot attempt from McCann. Takedown successful. does a knife's job listening to his corner, putting Smith's head against the gauge, and is able to get the back again. We'll see if we see another. Great transition from back. Rear naked choke attempt. Smith very, very scrambly, even when even in these tough positions, kicking off the hooks, defending the rear naked choke attempts. McCant riding very high now. He is in danger. If Smith is able to stack up a little bit, he could shake him off of the front. Oh boy. McCants looking for that choke again. A little too CEO's high here. A little riding a little Great bit too high. Great armbar attempt yes. coming out the back door, but Smith able to get his head. Oh, knee look at bar. that knee bar. And Is this arm in there too? Yes. Yeah, oh my God, his arm. It's a knee bar attempt though. The flexibility on display. From the original angle, we could not see that he had a leg in there at all. That was a, that was very impressive with flexibility. Uh, I from thought Smith. he had that arm isolated, and I'm like, man, why is he? How is he holding on to this? 
Turns out there was a leg in there. <laughs> Blood coming from the nose of McCant now. Good exchange there by both fighters. Smith's starting to land some punches now. He's heavy and heavy and doubling up on that jab. McCant starting to look a little bit more winded. And I think sometimes when when your gas starts to go a little bit, those flashy techniques are not going to be there, and it becomes bread and butter versus bread and butter, and you see you know, Sheldon Smith really starting to pour it on. Yeah, Sheldon Smith starting to land with some regularity here. But McCant looking for that single leg again. Good takedown. McCant able to get the beautiful double leg. Thirty seconds left in this round. Nice knees from McCant. I think both fighters are pretty tired. McCant able to finish the round on top in the dominant position. A nice look for the judges. Sheldon, but Sheldon Smith, Smith had his moments in that round for definitely sure. Definitely started to be more offensive in that round and started to land land pretty regularly with that jab. So it'll be an interesting third round. I again I wouldn't know how to score that round because I would give I would give the the striking to Smith, but then McCant did get that. McCant big had a takedown. couple takedowns. He worked from top, threatened with submissions, but once they got back to the feet, I mean, it was all Sheldon Smith. McCant didn't end up the end up on top at the end of the round, so nod probably goes to him, but very competitive round. Can't early take down, but Smith. Smith able to defend. Oh, McCann, yeah, very job. nice. That's what years of wrestling gets you yeah. right there. It's not the first attempt, it's the second and third attempt. Being able to hey, chain together to those takedowns and just Good not give up. Shot and reshot. Now McCann pouring on some elbows to the body. I think both fighters came out in this round with that look on their face like, I have got to win this round. Yeah. But can't pick, I don't know if he's looking for a heel hook here or what. McCant has one hook and over wrist control on the left side, which is a great position to be in because he can do exactly what he's doing right now, yep. and that is land some ground and pound up the armpit of the opposite side. And be in complete control of, of Smith on the bottom here. When you have your back to the mat and you're the person in the, in the non-dominant position, you can look like you're doing things. You can land elbows, you can land some punches. But, oh, goodness. Flatten them out here now. But when someone has your back, you only have defense to offer yep. up. It's a very bad look. And you're constantly having to work. You're holding someone else's weight. You're constantly having to defend, eat punches. It's miserable. Keep those hands 
Nice control from McCant. If this round continues in this fashion, I would imagine that something like this is something that could win him the entire fight. Absolutely. Both fighters have three minutes to work, and you got to figure Sheldon Smith has to get back to his feet immediately to have any chance to win this fight. McCant has his arm under the across the face, but not under the chin. Although you got to believe from this from this vantage that a uh, rear naked choke attempt is only a matter of moments. He's just relentless with the pressure. There it is. And there it is. Nope. And Smith is doing a great job of defending that. McCann's never getting his arm under the chin completely. He's it's not, across, he's his, getting it across, across the his chin, jaw, basically, yes. yeah. But he, he is has feeling. His other hook in now, though. This is. This one might be a little bit better. Can't see the angle here from where we're set, and he's given. Giving Mike Engel a thumbs up as he lets go of the choke. Nice elbow from McCant. Every time McCant lets go of the choke and, and, and looks for a new way to attack, he lands an elbow in the meantime. Yeah. Great work from McCant. And make no mistake about it, Smith is feeling every single pound of weight on McCant, McCant's body He's from got this a, position. A half Nelson and looking to roll him over. Roll, elbow, roll, elbow. I mean, it's like clockwork. He's thinking, oh. Right elbow, right elbow. Keeps going back to that choke. Every time he does, Smith falls to his left hip, and it gives him just enough space to stay out of that. A minute left in this fight. McCant's corner just called for him to get violent, which I would imagine means get busy with the ground and pound. Let's let's land volume, not worry yep. about these submissions. Land those elbows, land those hammer fists. I like him trapping that arm. When his hips are elevated off the mat, guys, that is tough. When you're the guy on the bottom and you're stretched out like that, hips up, worst feeling in the world. There's not a more defenseless position, and that'll do it. Mike England, I, I don't know if there were some verbal cues there from, from there Smith, may have, but. There may have been, I don't, it, it, I don't know either. I'm surprised by that. Not that it wasn't headed that direction, sure. maybe, but unless he said something, I'm a little bit surprised by that stop. But a he doesn't grind. seem to be contesting it too much. Nope. Absolute grind of a win for McCant. 